Of the 12 MMA and Muay Thai bouts that went down at one Friday, fights 27 on August 4th, only three went the distance. It's a theme that has become synonymous with one championship's weekly series that airs live in Asia primetime from Lumpany Boxing Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand. Before the iconic arena hosts, the star started one fight night 13 on Prime Video later today, we recap all the action that went down in the Thai capital. Tyson Harrison is well on his way to becoming a household name at one Friday fights. And he proved why in his bantamweight Mui, Thai showdown with Tupeaki Singa Moin. The cowboy hat wearing, gunslinging Aussie, ran wild on his Thai foe, stopping him by KO at the 220 mark of the very first round. In the early goings, John Wayne Noy connected with a left hook that dropped to Pierre for an 8 count. The Singa Moin product answered, but it was on noticeably wobbly legs. Harrison sensed blood from there and quickly put together a right uppercut left hook combination that sank to Pierre to the canvas again, leaving him unable to answer the referee. The walk-off finish earned Harrison his second win in one and continued to inch him toward the elite of the bantamweight Mui Thai division. Pompech PK Sanchai put on a boxing masterclass on his way to a unanimous decision win over an ultra-tough Peptexin, saw Son Sing in their 132-pound catchweight Mui Thai bout. Pompech set the tone early when he floored his foe with a clean left and right hook combination midway through the first round before pushing the action up to the bell. Taptexin displayed his durability in the second frame, engaging Pompech in the pocket and connecting with dangerous shots. But the PK Senchai standout made a push in the final round, and he landed hooks and elbows on Taptexin to convince the judges to hand him his second win in one and improve his record to 104-43 overall. Chai Saw Saw Toy Pedriu entered the Lampany ring with bad intentions on Friday, and he made it known in his 130-pound catchweight Mui Thai rematch with Magnum Saw Saw Mai. The 25-year-old poured the pressure on his fellow Thai from the opening bell and stung Magnum with a heavy right hand in the final moments of the first frame. Chai placed his foot further on the gas when the second round began, and he continued to land punches in bunches. The writing was soon on the wall for referee Olivier Coste, who had no choice but to step in and stop the match at the 125 mark of the frame. The BCK gym men scored redemption against Magnum with the TKO win, and it opened his one account in captivating fashion. Projanban saw Jaw which at Padre in Tuan Kor Campanat's flyweight Muay Thai tilt could have been fought in a phone booth. The Thai warriors went elbow for elbow in round one. With Lumpany Boxing Stadium Muay Thai world champion Projanban coming off better from the exchanges. Tuan tried his best to bring the bout level in round two, but the saw jaw which at Padre men continued to prove more accurate. Projanban then capitalized on a lunging shot from his foe to connect with a counter-right elbow that ricocheted off Tuan's forehead and sent him to the mat. The core campanat representative couldn't make the referees count. So Projanban was handed a debut TKO victory to extend his record to 81-20. Kansak saw Dekepan prove that sometimes you have to take one to give one when he finished old rival Rekhon saw Somnuk in their 112-pound catchweight Muay Thai fight fight. The two Taris battled intensely for the first two frames of the match, exchanging punches and gut-piercing knees. In the third round, however, Kansa cranked his compatriot's head sideways with a straight punch that left him laid out on the canvas. Kansat earned the TKO win at the 42-second mark of round 3 to avenge his own final round loss to Rek Han in May and notch his Mu Thai record to 53-12. Rachimanko Mithambar Cycle opened his one account in style with a unanimous decision win over Patnamkam Fandakrataburi in their 117-pound catchweight Mu Thai bout. The 16-year-old flexed his power and dropped his Thai compatriot twice in the first round with lethal counter-left hooks. 
Panamka made a fight out of it, though, as he forced Rachamankal to fight in the pocket in the second and third frames. But all hope was dashed for the Fundacratabury representative when Rachamankal landed a brutal spinning back fist to score another knockdown in the dying second of the match. Rachamankal earned a nod from the judges and improved his professional slate to 41 to 10 with the win. In a contest that saw both Ferrari Fatex and Ilyas Muzov in dire need of a win. It was the Thai star who took home the unanimous decision victory after three rounds of captivating Bantam Wheaton Thai. The nine minute affair saw its fair share of back and forth action. With Muzov controlling much of the opening round thanks to his dangerous kicking game. Ferrari battled back in the second and third frames, though, using his elbows inside the clinch and effective kicks to earn the nod from the judges after the final bell rang. The Fatex standout pushed his record to a jaw dropping 133 32 4 with the win. Three Division Lumpany Boxing Stadium Mui. Thai world champion Panthat VK Koyoi was the clear favorite going into his strawweight Mui Thai battle with Stephen Irvine. But the Scottish striker wasn't playing by that script. He flustered Panthat with boxing combinations in round one and carried that momentum into the second stanza. The Thai favorite tried to be more aggressive. But El Matador met him in the middle of the ring and stung him with more powerful punches. A right uppercut and chopping right sent Panthat down first, then Irvine dropped him twice more to score the TKO win at 127 of the second frame and extend his record to 25 to 3. After coming up short in his one Friday fight's debut in June, Chinese Tiger Zhang Jinhu redeemed himself in the most spectacular fashion in his second outing. Zhang knocked down Harden Thai competitor Harun Bam McClonton three times in the first round of their flyweight Mu Thai clash to earn the impressive TKO finish. The Chinese star dropped Harun with a hard right hand to earn the first eight count. Moments later, it was a multi-punch combination that sent the Thai down a second time. Then, Zhang ripped his false torso open with a shovel punch to finish him off for good. The referee stopped the action at 1.05 of the first round to move Zhang's or striking record to 37-13. Abdullah Ondesh shocked the crowd when he finished Panpet saw jaw like Muangnan in the dying seconds of their electric strawweight Muay Thai battle. Outstruck in the first frame and knocked down in the second via a flying knee from his Thai foe. Ondesh knew he was down in the scorecards, and he fought like it in the final round. The Lebanese debutant was rewarded for his aggression when he caught Panpek in the ropes and landed a booming left hook. He then unleashed a three-hook combination to claim the KO win at 2.59 of the third round, improving his professional slate to 17-1. Roman Lukashevich went through hell to earn a late submission win against Lawrence Phillips in their heavyweight MMA affair. Lukashevich attacked the legs of his American foe at every opportunity throughout the contest and came closer to finding success with each attempt. Phillips refused to give the debuting Russian an inch. Though, and he consistently attacked with borages of strikes. But Kolovret held on, and he finally found what he was looking for in the third round when he secured a takedown and sank in a knee bar to force the tap at 4.07 of the frame. Lukashevich moved to 7-0 in his career overall with the victory. Carlo Buminol raced out of the blocks to pressure Reza Sadi in their bantamweight MMA curtain raiser. From the opening bell, Buminol looked sharp with every strike he threw in Sadi's direction. The powerful Filipino soon wobbled his Iranian foe, first with a crunching straight left, then with more punches and knees to seal the TKO victory after just 52 seconds. With the debut win in one, the team Loki Man remained undefeated in his career and showed he's another rising star to watch from the famed Bogio City stable.